Welcome to Loom's Lunches. I'm here in the wonderful Brockingham uh, food court and I'm here to review Brockingham Red Rooster. First off, we've got the chips on this uh, what they call Hellfire box. Because, you know, I figured the only way I could be heard over the noise of other people talking would be to, you know, scream loudly at my mouth being on fire. What do you know, the chips taste the same as all the chips in the world, except for those, that, those Hungry Jacks chips I had one time that were very salty. Very good, very nice. Now you might be wondering, how I know this is Rockingham? Well, how wouldn't I? Uh, why would I be in Rockingham and not know that I'm in Rockingham? It'd be kind of weird. But no, it wasn't. It wasn't because I saw our Lord and Savior Mark McGowan. No, no, no. It was because the first thing I saw when I walked into the shopping centre was an abandoned trolley with an empty carton of twoies. Well, it wasn't really a carton of twoies because there's no twoies in there, but it was an empty carton that said twoies. You know what I mean? Alright, we're moving on. Next, not this, we'll save this for last. Oh, that's interesting. We've got what I assume is chicken, or rooster, which is kind of chicken, but you know, with mayonnaise. Did you give it a go? Almost tastes like fish, to be honest. Almost. I'm not even sure this is chicken. It's got that light, almost non-existent taste about it, that fish does. It brings you back to memories of catching my first blue spotted snapper in jail with my granddad. Then cooking it and having it taste like literal rubber. Never caught a fish after that though. Moving on to whatever the hell this is. Some kind of chicken, but... You know, popcorn size. To be honest, I, I didn't look at what was actually in the hellfire box. I just saw the word hellfire and I was like, hell, I wanted the world to burn anyway. I'll give it that, it does not taste like fish this time. It tastes like air, but like, not like air, like heavy air. Like, the world is a hot air balloon, and this is the air rather than, you know, being a hot air balloon, because that's why they're there. Does that make sense? Some fishy about that chicken. Very fishy. Now, always red, always nice coat. Again, going to add the bonus point for the colour. You know, keep it, keeping it real. Not the same as the Hungry Jack score, but still. Get this, it tastes like Coke. Surprise, surprise there. Now for the thing that says it's spicy. You'll find out what kind of spice. Like your spicy? Boy. This looks like this. I'm pretty sure it's chicken though. Let's find it. Spice only exists in the aftertaste. I didn't even know that was like a physically possible thing to do with flavor. It's like just a mystery to me. It's like Red Rooster has invented a new means of inserting flavor. Just put it in the aftertaste somehow through the magic of science. You know. There's a lot of evidence in support of the idea that proper scientific protest processes can only exist through government funding. But I don't know, Red Rooster has, I think, just invented a revolutionary way of adding flavour. 
<laughs> you will eat. After you've eaten the food, it'll just manifest into existence. I, I don't get it. It's like you're eating a normal burger, and then when you finish swallowing, just a slight pepperiness just exists. And I'll give a final drink of the coke and sign off. This has been Loom Lunches reviewing Rockingham Red Rooster. I give it the same score as the last one, over that one. Five minutes after I ate the burger and the aftertaste will come back again. It's even worse now. After I finished the burger, it's been like two minutes and it's just come back worse. What is this magic? This is witchcraft right here. This is proof that magic exists. Screw science, I'm a spiritualist now. <laughs> and Libra. After I ate the burger and the aftertaste will come back again. It's even worse now. After I finish the burger, it's been like two minutes and it's just come back worse. What is this magic? This is witchcraft right here. This is proof that magic exists. Screw science, I'm a spiritualist now. <laughs> and Libra.